Now let's um, uh, let's also talk about this. Uh, when, because again, this is something new to the young developers, mostly in this you know um, sub-Saharan zone, where business has not been uh, our culture. Uh, so some few considerations that are you know away from our knowledge, like uh, uh, when is the when do you bring uh, an investor into your business? Uh, you know, when you bring an investor, you know, how do you know that uh, the investment, you know, the guy is bringing is worthy the equity you're giving? How do you crack that balance? You know, the biggest... And I think that goes with the company valuation. Exactly, and that's what I want to talk about. And that's not just a random problem, that's an African problem, right? That's true. And I want to talk to all the startup out there. Um, the biggest uh, problem or challenge that startup don't do from the beginning is to learn how to uh, have valuation of your company, how to build valuation, how valuation are calculated. There is a formula. So usually, in general, valuation is based on your revenue, especially net revenue. But in technology company, it's different. Mm -hmm. Technology company, you can sell valuation based on future earnings or the really? size of the market. Really? Yes, that's Predictions. The prediction. I mean, you have companies that are worth billions of dollars and are still not profitable. Uber, Facebook didn't become yeah, profitable true. for a long time. Amazon didn't become profitable for Twitter 15 years. As well. All of them, but they're worth billions of dollars. Why? Now how do they vary, you know, calculate that? It's a game. It, you know, it's a game that us Africans need to learn this game also. Um, because again, it's, it's about projection. It's about how you sell. You know, everything is about selling. Business is about selling. Salesmanship is key. You have to sell your vision, you have to sell the technology, and you have to... Innovation, it's new, technically. When you build something innovative, it means you, you, you're bringing something that's going to disrupt the market. So all you can do is so build on base on... What are three things that compose the equation of company valuation calculation? Well, they, it's a, there's different calculation. Mm -hmm. You know, the size of the market is... The potential size of the market mm -hmm. could be one of them. Mm -hmm. um, how disruptive your technology is, mm -hmm. can be, meaning do you have competitor? Mm -hmm. So the least competitor you have, the more edgy you can become. Mm -hmm. And how quickly you're acquiring um, the, 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 numbers. the numbers of people using your technology. So you don't even need to focus on revenue. If you have a huge amount of people using your technology, even if you're making zero dollars, that has a value. Because that, that consumer, even though is not spending money now, could be spending money tomorrow. So that means the formula of company valuation can be customized in a way. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, you customize the way, and, and there's people that are expert in that. And you see those companies bring those experts to, to, to jump up the number. But another thing about valuation that startups need to understand is, it doesn't matter what you think your valuation is, somebody has to accept that valuation to make wow. it a real value. Wow. So if, 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 you, if you think you value at $1 million, right, mm -hmm. and an investor come and say, well, no, I don't think so. I think it's 500000 It's up to you to decide. Am I willing to lower my valuation so I can get this money? That's true. You know? Or you can be patient and keep building your business until you get the valuation you want. And valuation, as I said, only work when the other party, the one giving you money, accepts, accepts. that valuation. So you've got so to convince. Whatever you believe does not mean anything. As long as he believes. Exactly. Well, uh, now let's come back to the equity. Uh, you know, let, let's be local here. Let's yeah. be domestic. Like uh, an investor comes in Rwanda, maybe next startup, based in X zone of Kigari, and, uh, and an investor comes in and uh, says, uh, young man, I'm giving you... Uh, 10 million, I want 50% uh, of your business. W because sometimes these young men, they have never touched 10, 10 million. Um, so they may give 50%, thinking 10 million is a lot. Mm -hmm. So talk about that as well. So the, the general rules of, of equity 
is as a, let's let's take a, a company that's going to scale up and all. The general rule is you're going to raise at least three, two to three times in the lifetime of your business. General on average. Uh, the problem is we look at money instead of looking at the bigger picture. We look a lot of uh, uh, entrepreneurs in Africa have short term uh, vision. They see the money, they think this is it. That's all I'm going to need anyway. You know, ten thousand. It seems a lot to them, right? That's true. Uh, Ten million, sorry. It seems a lot to them. But they don't understand that, especially if you're in technology. You have to develop the technology if you need to. You have uh, employment. Innovation takes time. On average, innovation takes five to ten years wow. to crack the code, uh, you know, to, to bring adoption. Because it's not just about the product, which is another that. mistake people make. That's true. They think, oh, I got this product. It's new. Boom. Everybody's going to adopt that product. It's not true. You know? You have people that have developed already habits. Sometimes it takes a whole generation, a That's new true. generation, That's to come true. in to adopt your product. So you always have to play the long-term game. And, and the rule of thumb is always protect you know, your equity as long and as much as you can. That should be your goal. You know? and You've got to protect it. You have to protect your equity. This is your baby. You know, this is, this, this is your lifetime, you know, wow. and the, you want, the more you have proven on the market, the more valuation you can, you can have, the less equity you give, you know, you shouldn't rush, but sometimes, you know, it, it, it's, it's attractive, you know, you have 10 million, you know, you think, oh my God, I've made it, and, and you're you starving, up. yeah, and you're starving, you, you have no money in the pocket, and that's why it's tough, it's really wow. tough. Interesting. So we, we, 